I'm back with another quick tip, this time for After Effects. In this quick tip I'm going to show you how to move a layer along a path while also rotating it along that path. There used to be an old trick in After Effects and I'm going to show you that. To do something similar you could copy a mask path and paste it in the position channel of a given layer and what that would give you is a two seconds long animation of keyframes and the layer would move along that path. Other than that you couldn't do much with it. It's an old trick that still works but my method will involve the use of some expressions. Let me first explain what we've got here. We have a white solid layer with a mask path attached to it and I also have created a shape layer with a polystar shape in it and I have decreased the number of points to three so we get a triangle. I have attached a stroke effect to the white solid so that we can better visualize the path without having to select the white solid all the time. First we'll take care of the position. I will select the position channel, go to the animation menu and add an expression. As you know you can also alt click a property to add an expression but I wanted to show you an alternative way. We need to get the information for the path. I will do that and store that information into a variable which I will call my path and to get the information for the path I will use the pick whip and on that path I will use a function which you can find on this expressions menu under the path property category. It is called point on path and as you can see this function expects two optional arguments. One is the percentage along the path and the second one is time. In this case we will use the percentage along the path and I will drive that value using a slider control which we can find under the expression controls. Let me animate this it will go from 0 at the beginning of our timeline to 100. I will use the reference to this slider in another variable called animation. As you see I used 100 for our final keyframe but our function point on path accepts an argument with a value from 0 to 1. So I will have to divide my animation value by 100. Let me copy this variable and paste it in the arguments list of our function. This part is done. What the point on path function returns is the position along the path at that particular time. I will use almost the same expression for the rotation. Let me add an expression to the rotation channel of our shape layer and paste our existing expression there. I will make some changes now. Instead of point on path function I will use another one also found under the path property category. This time it is called normal on path. Let me cut our previous argument and paste it here. What this new function returns is a vector. A vector is, as you know, a two-dimensional array, an array with two elements in it. And that vector is the direction of the path at that particular time. But our rotation property does not expect a vector, it expects a scalar value, a one-dimensional value, that is the rotation. We will calculate that rotation based on our normal. Let me first 
store our normal in a variable called normal. The way to calculate the angle for that vector is to use a function found in the JavaScript math category called math arctangent2. It is called arctangent2 because it expects two arguments and those arguments are the y value and the x value of our vector. Instead of y, I will enter the second element of our two-dimensional array and instead of x, I will enter the first element of our two-dimensional array. Now this function returns an angle but this angle is expressed in radians rather than degrees. So, to get the desired effect, we will have to convert this angle from radians to degrees. Let me cut this part of the expression and add another function found under other math category called radians to degrees. And instead of radians, we will paste our expression for the angle. We have an error. Let me check what it is. Syntax error. Missing a bracket after the arguments list. Apparently we have a missing bracket here. We have to match this opening one. You have to be careful when you have the autofilling feature of the expression editor enabled. Let's now check what we have done. And voila! Here it is, our layer that not only moves along a path, but also rotates accordingly. I hope you find it helpful. Sometimes I do these little recordings for myself to later remember how I do things. And I also advise you to do the same. Sometimes a video is much more valuable than a long text to remember things. Thank you for watching and I'll try to record other videos as soon as I find time to do it. Bye.